Professor, when it comes to limiting climate change, how important is this rainforest? It's very important. Uh, it has two different roles. One is you have emissions every year from deforestation and also from degradation, which has actually been shown in various studies to be more than deforestation, from logging and fires and so forth in, in uh, forests that's still standing. Uh, so that's one thing which is a significant part of global warming. But what is really uh, most frightening is the stock of carbon that is still in forests that's standing. So that if the Amazon forest were to be transformed into a savanna or if it were, were to be uh, cut down, burned and so forth, uh, within a few years that would be very significant pushing the climate system past a tipping point where uh, global warming is out of control. Because really, the most that we can do is not emit anything else. If we don't burn a single barrel of oil, we don't cut down another tree. It's only 13 billion tons of carbon by the, by the fifth assessment report from the IPCC. So if it, there's more than 13 billion tons coming out of forest fires and the tundra melting and all these things all over the world, it means you, uh, global warming gets out of control. So the Amazon is central to that, that question. And how close could we be to that tipping point, do you think? Well, we're quite close because, in t there, first of all, there's several tipping points. And you have tipping points in terms of temperature, the 1.5 degree limit that the COP26 is trying to uh, enforce. Uh, is more or less where these tipping points are for the climate. And also, uh, you have a tipping point for deforestation, so that you can only clear a certain percentage of the forest and not have it just disintegrate on its own. And we're close to that, too. So <laughs> do you have any faith that this meeting in Glasgow could come up with something, some sort of deal, that would involve the Brazilian government, obviously, that would stop what is going on here, or reverse what is going on here? Uh, certainly the, the current Brazilian government is not uh, likely to, to change its behavior dramatically on its own. But certainly if, if this deal uh, involves the, the, the countries that are importing soy and beef and so forth, especially China, then they could have a big effect. So this global pledge to uh, have zero deforestation by 2030. For example, if China were to say we won't import any of your products unless you have zero deforestation, then it would have, it would really happen. Um, but Brazil says it will sign this pledge for mm. deforestation. Um, do you value their word? Well, uh, what Brazil has been promising. Uh, so far, including President Bolsonaro's speech, remote speech to the COP, uh, was to only halt illegal deforestation, not, not all deforestation. But as I understand it, the global pledge is for all deforestation. And if that actually happens, it would be very important. The problem is that there are two ways to stop illegal deforestation. One is to actually stop deforestation, and the other is to just legalize everything that's going on. It's that second path that is actually happening. Yeah, so, I mean, are you optimistic, pessimistic, or where are you on the future of the rainforest that you love so much? Well, I think it's important not to be either one. That is, if you're pessimistic and you think everything's a lost cause anyway, then no one does anything. And if you're optimistic and think everything's taking care of itself, you also don't do anything. So you really have to be focused on the problem. And, it is possible to have major changes and you can't wait too long in the case of the Amazon.